Do you get annoyed when you're trying to make a flat layer under your line art and it takes ages? You have to erase overlaps and keep checking everything is connected while inking around the inside of the character. I mean look at the state of this. If you duplicate your inked layer like I have here, Add a new layer above the duplicated line art and activate clipping mask. Use the color you want your flat layer to be and fill the clipped layer and then merge with the layer below. Now on this layer, you can easily fill in the character with your base color. Now all you need to do is drag your flat layer underneath your original line art layer. If you add a layer in between the two, you can activate a clipping mask to easily color your character without going outside of the lines. I hope you found this useful. Helpful digital art tips. Make your sketch layer a different color easier to see your line art. Use photo references. Choose a color scheme beforehand. Use the lasso tool for big color chunks. Use your own photos to add more crunchy texture. Duplicate your layer. Set it to overlay then make it glow with Gaussian blur. Thank you. You guys have asked me a lot for line art tips so that's what this video is going to be for. Keep in mind, I do have a Discord server where I stream very frequently, most of the time doing line art. Here are some examples on screen of my line art work. And here, the shale brush is the only line art brush that I use. In order to get that deep line effect, you have to know where to put thick and thin lines. Most of the time, I put them where two lines meet to create a corner. I'll throw some examples here on screen so you can get a good idea of what I mean. Always remember to have your opacity lower if you're going for a textured or kind of like sketchy effect. Something else that I really like doing is blurring the line art. This can be done by duplicating the line art layer and using Gaussian blur on the second layer. Once you've done that, it creates a really cool smoky effect, but it's important to remember that it does not work for every kind of line art style. This is why I don't use it often. Keep in mind though that this brush may not be the one for you. It's important that you experiment with different brushes because they all look and feel differently. Once you learn to have a steady hand, you can make some cool stuff. That's all. Anatomy Cheats Part 5 Drawing Muscles I'm showing you how to draw muscles on Stickman. Draw the arms like an S. As you can see from the rest, repeat it on the other arm. Moving on to the legs, it's straight and curved. Straight line and curved line. You can see here. Another layer, the remaining muscle, under reference. I suggest practicing repeatedly. Pinterest provides lots of references for you to practice with. On the female, adjust the S size on how big the arm is. Straight and curved for the legs and it's done. How to make a seamless repeat pattern in 60 seconds. Start with a blank square canvas. Fill it up with design. Add a new layer. Fill it with black. Drag that to 50% opacity. Drag it to a new group. Duplicate the group, drag it to the halfway point, drag the other one to the halfway point so they line up. Now you've got new white space in the middle, fill up that white space with more design. Now again, add a new layer, fill it with black, drag the opacity to 50%, drag that to a new group, duplicate the group, drag the layers. Now you're going to have more white space in the middle again after you delete the black layers. Fill that with design, repeat again. New layer, fill with black, 50%. Drag it to a new group, duplicate the group. Drag to the halfway point, drag the other one to the halfway point. Snap, great. Now, fill it with design, and bam, you're done. You have a seamless repeat pattern. You can tile this indefinitely, and it will line up. Always save a copy of your work, just in case you need to tweak anything, but there you go, you have a seamless repeat pattern. Do you have this issue with the bucket tool? <laughs> You can try to outline the part you want to fill, but if your linear is messy then there will still be a lot of gaps. You can fix this by changing the bucket settings. First, make sure the coloring is on a separate layer. Then change the bucket settings to current layer.
Now when you use the bucket, it should fill the area completely without gaps in the linear. Please stop making brownies from a box. No! I'm sorry, but it's easy! And I'm a stupid! Genius. Anatomy cheats but one. Going hands. Break down the hands in simple shapes and four. So that you can remember it easily. Group them into different block, like what I am doing right now. After that, transfer it onto the empty canvas and draw the different blocks accordingly. Next is slowing the busting another layer. This time you are reshaping the hands based on the silhouette of the reference. Draw a city quickly in first point perspective and procreate. First draw your city block. Drawing guide, edit drawing guide, then add your vanishing point. Line up the corners to the guide, then duplicate the layers, scale it again, and line up the corners. Now use the perspective guide to draw in the rest of your city. Welcome to Abdominal Hell. Let's put some muscle on this dude. Here is the general shape of ABS. You're basically trapezoids. Round out those bad boys. The bottom is like a secret eighth pack. Our definition varies with how straight the lines are. You can bend, compress, stretch the midline. The muscles will lay on top of each other or squish or spread apart. Here's how the ABS are placed on the torso. They fit right under the rib cage and usually don't go wider. Here are the muscles that sit right next to the ABS. Don't be afraid to look at references. ABS look different with each person. Check out my shading and rendering videos for how I paint these ABS. If you're a digital artist and people often tell you digital art is not real art, what I want you to do in the future, you know, if they happen to be next to you or they happen to be in your vicinity, I want you to hand them the iPad and go... Draw that right now, exactly, the same way as me. Go on, if it's not real art and it's easy, go on, do it. Today on Art Hacks, quick and easy coloring in Clip Studio Paint. Firstly, if you colored digitally like this, I would like to humbly request that you stop. 
I know I'm not the boss of you, but you're wasting so much time. There are faster and more efficient ways to do this. Let me show you. First, get your line art. Make a new layer underneath your line art for your colors and grab your new best friend, the fill bucket tool. Make sure that you have refer other layers selected in the sub tool menu and that refer multiple is checked down here. This makes your fill bucket look at all visible layers when deciding where to fill. I also recommend having area scaling turned on. This will allow the color to fill underneath your line art so you don't get that nasty white ring around your colors when you're filling. Then just go wild, color to your heart's content. Also, if your line art tends to have gaps in it, you can check Close Gap, and like the Ever Given getting stuck in the Suez Canal, it'll stop up those gaps and keep your fill from going outside the lines. Hope this helps! Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're Draw a black circle on a square canvas. Duplicate the layer, move it below the original, and color it gray. Merge the layers and bring it to the center. Copy all and duplicate your brush. Click the new brush, then go to Shape, Shape Source, Import, Paste, and to Finger Tap to invert. Lower opacity, increase size and properties, and select Light Glaze in Rendering. Really Ta-da! Follow for more tips.